All new at six, a live look at Charlotte Douglas International Airport. Seasoned pilots in the cockpit. Chances are when you board a flight and see a mature pilot behind the controls, you feel more at ease. But when is a pilot too old to fly? That's the question lawmakers are now debating as they consider raising the mandatory pilot retirement age. Chief Transportation Correspondent and pilot herself, McKay Beeler, has more on this contentious topic. Oh yeah, hot, hot topic. All right, so first to be clear, we are specifically talking about airline pilots, not other commercial or private pilots. So in 2007, the government raised the airline pilot mandatory retirement age from 60 to 65. Lawmakers have been grappling with the idea of raising it again from 65 to 67. It was being considered as part of the bipartisan Senate FAA Reauthorization Act of 2023. The bill passed the committee today, now headed to full Senate uh, for approval. It focuses on improving safety, advancing technology, passenger rights, and more, but no mention of raising the pilot retirement age. FAA Administrator Mike Whitaker has asked lawmakers, leave the issue alone until the agency studies the idea more. Well, labor leaders and pilot unions call the proposed change ill-conceived. They are dead set against it. But is raising the retirement age just by two years a bad idea? Some lawmakers insist it will let experienced pilots fly a little longer and would alleviate the pilot shortage. Others, like Whitaker, warn against taking such action without appropriate research. Now, what are the main concerns against it? Raising the retirement age beyond 65 would not be in compliance with international standards and would disrupt U.S. airline global operations. The International Civil Aviation Organization, ICAO, mandates pilots in multi-crew flights. They must retire at 65. ICAO is not considering increasing the pilot retirement age. Later, lead, our labor leaders worry that, look, if we change ours to 67, senior airline pilots would be limited to flying only in the United States, causing our international pilots to move back to domestic airplanes and route. So are 65 and 66 year old pilots healthy enough to fly? Well, the Airline Pilots Association is not on board with the age change. It claims approximately 40% of pilots age 64 are on some form of disability, short or long-term sick leave. If the retirement age is increased, the number of pilots on leave will increase since senior pilots will have aged out of flying international routes. So, Mickey, do you know of any pilots that really want the age limit extended? Yes, mm -hmm. because they love to fly. Yeah. It is their life. It's part of their ego. It's who they are. And we love being in the cockpit. So, yeah, they want it increased. They want to fly as long as they can, provided they're healthy, of course. It's interesting that you said in terms of their disability in terms of as they get older. I mean, that's a very interesting statistic. But my question for you is for yourself, you know, if you are a private uh, pilot or you fly non-commercially, is there an age limit there? And does that seem like that might change? Good question. No age limit, as long as you can pass right. the medical. Okay. So we have pilot medicals with aviation medical examiners, depending on your age and what operation you're flying under private pilot, not commercially, certain commercial operations. As long as you pass that medical, you can fly to 100 years old. Right. Yeah. yeah.